Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being part of the show this and your chilling life with none other than MC Crescento, aka the coolest nigga in the city and beyond on MC One and the microphone in the hand. I'm not alone tonight, I'm with the big girls. Surely I'm now chilling with the big girls. They're from Chevambe girls assess and you know what it means today we've been having a conference in here and the major topic i mean the education that has all been learning about sex and so we've come with the topic they'll be discussing it but before we go forth allow me first have introduction from them they will tell us their names and how they feel probably and we shall come in with the topic let me start at my right hand side Yes, good evening everyone. My name is Ayushika Caroline Dorothy from Cherambi Girls Secondary School from Six Arts. Wow, how do you feel? I feel good. I love the smile though. <laughs> Thank you. Let me match this side. Hello. Hello, my name is Ahinti Wechala mm. from Six Arts mm. and I feel so good. Wow, that's powerful. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be discussing what is the light time? What is the light time that a teen is supposed to get involved? in sex relationship not sex relationship itself but a relationship whereby somebody can proudly say i have a boyfriend or i have a girlfriend out there what's the light time let me begin with calling what do you think is the appropriate times for one to get a girlfriend or to get a boyfriend what do you think is the appropriate time well i think the appropriate time for one to have a boyfriend without a sexual relationship actually i should call it a lover not a boyfriend mm. because According to the dictionary, a boyfriend is someone you have sexual relations with. Okay. So for one to have a lover, it should mm. be like at around 16 where they can go 10 years in courtship to understand themselves. Mm. That is why I feel like 16 is a good age for someone to have a lover and proudly tell the rest that I have a lover. What advice can you give them? The eager to have sex is always big in teens. Most especially these people you mentioned in 16 and the guys always have the eager to have sex. They're in the adolescent stage. What advice can you give them? How can they control it so that they are in a healthy relationship? Well, like they told us today, self-control is one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So when you have self-control, you can go even 10 years without having sex. The teens should know that what is killing us is mentality. I can't be in a relationship with a man without having sex and all that. But I feel like at 16, we can move 10 years up to when I'm 26 and then we can have sex. Remember, you can still be part of the show. You can also send in your suggestion. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I mean, what do you think? Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? What is the appropriate age for one to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend? Well, I think 18 years of age is the right time to get a boyfriend. Mm. Not to get a boyfriend, to sustain a boyfriend, maybe. Okay. Because by that time, you can reason between good and bad. Okay. And by that time, maybe you can think like an adult. That is the stage you can move from childhood to adulthood. So I think that is the right time you can get a boyfriend and then you do not have sexual relations with, with that person. Oh, I understand. She's suggesting that the 18 years of age is the appropriate time for one to get a girlfriend or to get a boyfriend. 18? Yeah. Which kind of relationship should it be like? Everything? Since you are an adult, you can go on, have sex, abort, do what? Because you can't decide to abort. You are 18. Okay. As a Christian, sure. I believe if one is, has really decided to become part of another person or become, become another person's girlfriend or boyfriend, sure. one can, can control themselves because most people relate for fun. Mm. But if you're relating for marriage, then you can set a standard. You can set a standard with your boyfriend or your girlfriend mm. and you make sure you do not have sex up to that time of your wedding day. Okay, remember you're still chilling live with MC Crescent, aka okay, the Chris Nick in the city and beyond, the honest burn a microphone in the hand. How about these people who are having sex before 18? Because your perspective, you're saying that someone to have a, to be in a relationship should be 18. So, what advice do you have for these people who have got into the relationship when they're 12 or 13? What do you have to tell them about that? By the time a child gets into a relationship at 12, mm. maybe they have been inspired by other people mm. or they have been inspired by people who have phones at an early stage. Mm. Maybe they have seen the world and they are what. So if they have had sex, then they should repent mm. because that was not the right time to, to relate with a man or to have sexual relations with a man. So, Caroline, when should one have sex? Because it's so, so part and partial and your boyfriend will always pursue you to have it like it is part of the relationship sex is part of the relationship at 16 what do you think is the appropriate age these people in courtship i understand so when should they have sex at what age 
they should have sex after marriage because the Bible says you have sexual relations after marriage. Okay. So I'm signing out and saying, love you so much. Bye.